everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I wanted to compare Wet n Wild's Cover All Foundation and their Photo Focus Foundation. Both of these have been out for a while and I don't know if people have done these kinds of comparisons but I thought it was worth trying out and I'm just going to quickly tell you kind of the differences between them because I did go look it up just kind of what their descriptions are um, so for the cover all this says that it'll cover acne scars dark, dark spots under eye circles it says that it blends seamlessly for all day wear and it is flawless lightweight formula provides buildable medium to full coverage that evens out skin tone and conceals imperfections um, so this does claim to be all day wear, medium to full coverage, lightweight satin matte finish. Um, and this is only $3.99, making it the cheapest foundation by far that I have in my collection. Um, the only kind of downside to this is it only comes in five shades. I don't know what that's about. Um, and then for the photo focus, this one says it's a your skin only better. Um, and that, let's say, featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white cast in photos. It is made with a matte finish, no filter perfection. And this one is $5.99 and comes in 20 different shades, so it definitely comes in a lot more. Uh, the coverall just has like a little squeezy tube. And then the photo focus one has a really weird application. It's a little spatula. Um, which I don't personally like and I think a lot of people don't really like it either. Uh, I have the shade Fair for the Cover All one and then I have Porcelain for the Photo Focus and I'm going to be doing half of my face with one and half with the other and just kind of comparing. Uh, I don't think the Porcelain shade is a good match for me honestly. Um, I think it's a little too pink tone for me because um, I have yellow undertones and fair skin and I feel like a lot of things just don't match me because of that. Like most things that are porcelain are made for pink undertones. Um, I'm using my Ulta Fabulous face, face Primer. I can never say it right. <laughs> Every single time I get it wrong. Um, I'm using this primer in case you're curious. So first I'm going to put the cover all on this half of my face. So I'm just going to it just decided to plunk out of there. Okay. That's how we're doing this now. And I'm going to put this on this half of the face. Why am I not? And my mirror's being dumb. Hello, mirror. This is new to my collection, but I quite like it. I think it's a really nice finish. Gives a good amount of coverage. And I'm really surprised by that because, you know, it's super cheap. I just put entirely too much on my sponge. Don't mind me. Good thing it says that it's a uh, buildable coverage, right? All right, so I now have it on the side of the face. I think it's actually a really good color match considering it comes in five shades. Um, not entirely sold on this one as, uh, in terms of shade, but I'm gonna try it anyways. And I still don't really know how to do this. Like, are you just supposed to? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. I did go in with a second coat on this side, by the way. Um, I was like, it says it's buildable, so let's test that theory out. Uh, especially because I have a lot of spots. So now I have the photo focus on this side of my face, and I'm just kind of looking in my mirror. Um, there's definitely a difference. Like the photo focus one is definitely more matte. Um, it also feels more tacky. Um, the coverall actually feels like a lighter formula than the photo focus. Hello, loud vehicles. Um, and then for powder, I'm going to go in with their corresponding powders. So I'm going to put the coverall one on the coverall side. And I haven't used this yet, so I have absolutely no idea if I'm going to like this or not. But we're going to find out. Um, and this is in the shade Fair, I think. Yeah, Fair Light. Whatever the lightest one is. Dab, 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 dab. And I'm going to use similar brushes with these two. 
Um, and then for the photo focus one, I have it in, what are you, warm light. I haven't decided if I like this powder yet. I've had it for a while and I've used it a few times, but I, don't know. I also feel like I'm not getting a lot when I'm trying to get the product, you know? Like, I don't know if it's because it's dried out, like, or if that's just the formula. I don't know. Like, I'm barely getting anything when I do that. So now I have it on both sides. I have the coverall on this side and the photo focus on this side. And I don't think there's too much of a difference. I would say I should have put concealer on. Completely forgot. Um, but I am gonna check in with you guys throughout the day, see kind of how long they last. Um, just from looking at it, I think I like the cover all side just a tad more. Um, I think they're both kind of obvious that I'm wearing makeup, honestly. Like, neither one of them looks like skin, if that makes sense. At least not on my dry skin. So uh, I will check in with you guys in a few hours. So I'm here just as a check-in with you guys. It's been about four hours since I put on the foundation and this is what my skin is looking like. Again, cover all side, photo focus side. Um, I feel like the photo focus side has kind of blended out my um, pores a little nicer, um, but they're actually looking pretty much the same at this point, at least I think so, maybe on camera, it'll show something different, but um, I'm not really noticing it like moving around or creasing on me or anything. It's looking okay so far. So I'm gonna check in with you guys in another few hours. Hello everyone, so it is now eight o'clock at night and I am in my bathroom, which is why the setting looks different. I'm holding my camera and it feels awkward. Um, but I wanted to get the best lighting possible. I know that my lipstick is kind of messed up, but I wanted to show you what the foundation is looking like after eight hours and cover all side, photo focus side. And I actually asked a friend while I was out if they could tell a difference between the two and they said they didn't even notice. Um, I don't think you can really tell a difference. I'm looking at the mirror that's immediately behind you. Um, I don't think you can tell a difference. And I think both of them lasted pretty well. I think setting it with like setting spray and stuff really diminished any kind of difference that there was. But um, yeah, it lasted pretty well, I would say. I don't notice any kind of like, it's settling into my lines or anything besides in my forehead because all foundations do that to me. But um, I don't think there's that much of a difference between the two, to be completely honest, at least not on my dry skin. Um, so that is it for this video, and I hope you guys did like it. If you like these kind of comparison videos, please be sure to like and subscribe and all of that jazz. And I will see you next time. Bye!